Not all of the guests in Taylor Swift's $2.5 million Super Bowl suite were famous people. Along with Blake Lively, Lana Del Rey, Ice Spice, and Travis Kelsey's business managers Andre and Aaron Eanes, who you might not have recognized, they were also present to celebrate the Chiefs' victory. The NFL tight end's career and the growth of his estimated $40 million fortune have been largely shaped by the twin brothers, who have known Kelsey since he was a student at the University of Cincinnati. Andre even shared a picture of a can of Casa Azul tequila soda, a company in which Kelsey has interest in a synergistic moment. The 34-year-old Andre stated to the New York Times last month, We positioned Travis to be world famous. We had no idea when it would occur, how it would proceed, or what might facilitate it. But it's been a nagging thought in the back of our minds ever since. The 34-year-old Kelsey has always aspired to be as successful as Dwayne, The Rock, Johnson, the former NFL player and WME wrestler who rose to fame on Disney and is now expected to make billions of dollars from his Terramana tequila brand. In fact, Kelsey recently joined Uber Agency CA in order to fulfill his dream of being an actor. In addition to hosting Saturday Night Live in March of last year, he also made an unexpected guest appearance with Swift in October. Additionally, he has already acted in a large number of advertisements for brands like Bud Light, Pfizer, Experian, Campbell's Soup, and State Farm Insurance. In addition, he is a real showman yelling, Viva Las Vegas, to Chiefs supporters and getting down on the decks with the chain smokers at the team's post-game celebration. In addition, Kelsey and his brother, Jason, the star of the Philadelphia Eagles, have a popular Spotify podcast called New Heights with Jason and Travis Kelsey. Next month, Kelsey will receive his first executive producer credit on a new movie that will make its world premiere at the South by Southwest Film Festival in Austin, Texas. The Dark Comedy My Dead Friend Zoe, starring Ed Harris, Senequa Martin-Green, and Natalie Morales, is about a U.S. Army veteran her estranged grandfather, and her dead best friend who she can't let go of. True Colors is Kelsey's own line of apparel. According to information provided to Page Six, Kelsey shopped at designer stores in his spare time while in New York City for SNL TV Insider. He was all about his looks. However, there are a few missteps that could damage Kelsey's reputation. Swifties called this action a red flag as he shoved Kansas City Chiefs coach Andy Reid during the big game while ranting at him. Jason Kelsey said to his brother, You crossed the line. I think we can both agree on it. In a podcast. Yeah, Kelsey replied. I can't get so worked up that I'm bumping coach and throwing him off balance and all that kind of stuff. It's clearly inappropriate, and I wish I could take it back right now. It's very interesting. I think the guy was always going to great things before he met Taylor Swift. Mark Borkowski, a global PR and branding expert, said to Page Six, he was a major contributor to a legendary team that he was a part of. He had all the makings of a player who would have a successful career both on and off the field. However, the coach's actions on Sunday night gave rise to rumors that he is a monster with anger management problems. As he swept Swift, who had traveled from Japan for the match, into a hug on the pitch at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Kelsey's passion undoubtedly won out. At the Chiefs' celebrations at XS Nightclub at Win Las Vegas, the sportsman was later seen serenading the singer with her own hit, You Belong With Me, the duo party till after 5 in the morning. This week, Kelsey faced criticism on social media once more for joyfully posing with police officers shortly after the horrific shooting at the Chiefs' victory parade on Wednesday that left local DJ Lisa Lopez Galvin dead and more than 20 others injured. A few hours later, he went to a celebratory meal at the Kansas City restaurant Grand Falloon with a small group of teammates, which included Patrick Mahomes and his wife Brittany. Kelsey said on X, I am heartbroken over the tragedy that took place today. After donating $100,000 to the family of the two little girls hurt in the shooting on Friday, my thoughts and prayers are with everyone who joined us in celebrating and was impacted. 
it must be extremely difficult to conduct your life under such scrutiny, Borkowski continued. Top Hollywood producer, meanwhile, told the Post that Kelsey's own documentary is just a matter of time. His people are definitely in talks. He's fascinating, in my opinion, the producer continued. In person, Kelsey resembles a real-life Hollywood hero, standing six feet five with a mischievous smile and vivid blue eyes. According to Andre Eanes, who spoke with the New York Times, Kelsey said, Man, I don't think I'll ever be as famous as The Rock. Andre responded, Yes, you can. The highly flammable Trends Newsletters writer, Rachel Richardson, a former Snapchat executive, told Page Six that Kelsey's display of aggression adds to the interest and intrigue around him. I believe that makes Travis more, not less, marketable because he is letting us see both of his alpha and beta tendencies, Richardson stated. He's a three-time Super Bowl champion who wears a friendship bracelet with pride. He may come across as pretentious at times due to his manner of risk-taking, but he rocks the podcast with his brother. He's at the peak of his abilities and confident enough in his manhood to partner with a lady who's at the top of hers. Richardson predicted that Kelsey, who has made millions through endorsements and branding, would surpass even Dwayne Johnson or Tom Brady in popularity. She stated, Kelsey has very much become the zeitgeist, so brands will be pounding down his door for endorsements and collaborations. I wouldn't be shocked if a high-end fashion house was the target of his next deal. However, his primary concentration will be on Hollywood and TV media prospects. He has been transparent about his desire to become an actor and his admiration for The Rock. Given his present trajectory, I believe his career may even eclipse Johnson's. Kels, who starred in his own dating reality program, Catching Kelsey, in 2016, which no one ever saw, now employs a trainer, a publicist located in Los Angeles, a personal chef, a creative strategist, and a coordinator for community engagement. Heading up VMG is Mike Simon, one of his four sports agents. All of this is under the control of the Eames brothers. They disclose that they are reviewing concepts for game shows and movies and might reduce his advertisements. Man, this year has been crazy, people tell me, Aaron Eames told the New York Times. Actually, it's not that crazy, I add, and I get weird looks from people. It's because following a plan makes things simple. We're carrying out that strategy. Additionally, the football player is currently free to commit errors. As a multifaceted character in a relationship with America's most famous person, Kelsey is currently occupying a rare space. Richardson added. This allows him a lot of leeway to make mistakes before they damage his marketability.